reason we back spring over the person is because it looks cool. Okay, not only that, but when I'm here and Kurt pushes my head and that, okay, he's took away my alignment, right? Remember when we talked about the, the main three principles of passing, which was stability, structure, pressure, and alignment. Alignment is your, is your um, posture, okay? But it's like anything, you know? If someone shoves my chin into my chest, you know, you can imagine lifting weights with your chin in your chest or squatting a big weight. If you're doing squats and you have your chin tucked into your chest, your whole spine and neck is, 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 is the line is took away, which means your strength's took away. So for me, when he pushes this head down, the only thing I can do is I have to go this way, and on the back spring, right over the top of the car, I've got my alignment back, or when he pushes my head away, or he pushes my head down, I can back away. But if I back away, he's just going to bring his knee in, and I've, I've lost the pass. So I don't want to lose the pass. I don't want to lose any advantage I've got. I mean, I've got past his legs. I just need to get upper body control. But I want to go to the other side, which is more advantageous. So when he pushes my head down, I mean, I can do this, right? When I when I do this, I can just like kind of like do a little hop over, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I still have lost my alignment because my neck or my chin is still being pushed. Down. But if I spring all the way over and turn towards his legs, it's better jiu -jitsu. Okay, another thing that can happen, this is the last one I'm passing through the legs this time, is when Carlos is pass. I need frames, okay? Instead of hip escaping and bringing my knee in or pushing his head down, sometimes what happens is I get the, the bottom leg in and I'll pull this leg over and put it on the hip. And then I can turn around and get my guard back again. So again, from this position, I'm throwing my leg right over. I put it on the shoulder, I have to put it on the far hip. I can still get control. I can create space, and then I'm bringing my feet back. So I've got my guard back again. So we need to deal with that possibility. So from here, I can pass. Knee in, throws his leg over, so immediately I hook it. But I don't hook it so it's on my shoulder because Carl can leg press me straight back, just by driving me back, and I've lost the position. See the way he's, he's, he's took my base away, I was here, he's put me right onto my butt just with a leg press. So, what I want to do is I'm pulling it so it's in the crook of my arm, okay? I just pull it in, okay? He has got a shin across my belt line, so my hand is going to push. Yeah, just turn this right around. I'm just going to remove this, and push it to the mat, and then I'm going to do one sheet wiper. I'm just going to slide my shin across, and one sheet wiper. And again, I'll be able to take the back, before, or it's back in the mat, side control. But for the sake of the drill, I'm just going to turn away, and I'll just continue like we did on the last one. So, from this position here, he swings over, I grip it, push down, slide across. Hip escape, throws the leg over, push down, windshield wiper, staying low. Here, push. I can put it into the, the three the three drills that we did earlier. From here, banging. Okay, so that's passing through the legs. Let's drill. Five off.